In this episode of GTV, we will be featuring a food DIY, a GTV studio challenge, and an informational story about Cinco de Mayo. GTV starts right now. Hey Grizzlies, welcome back to another episode of GTV. I'm Ashton Caden. Holly is covering a food DIY. Let's go see how to make some tasty treats. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Holly Woods. Today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to make banana bread. Let's go check it out. The items that you will need to make the banana bread are a loaf pan, oven mitts, cooking spray, a measuring cup, measuring spoons, measuring bowls, and a big bowl and something to mash the bananas with. The ingredients that you will need to make the banana bread are three ripe bananas, and make sure that they're ripe, two eggs, one three fourth cups of flour, one and a half cups of sugar, a half cup of vegetable oil, a fourth cup of milk, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of vanilla. This is optional, but if you would want to add walnuts, you would need one fourth to a half a cup, but I'm not adding walnuts. The first thing that you're going to want to do is mash your bananas. <laughs> mash, mash, mash. Mash, mash, mash. After you have mashed your bananas, it is going to look something like this, and you're going to want to mix your vegetable oil, eggs, vanilla, milk, and sugar with the mashed bananas. Nice and smooth. As you're pouring the sugar in, start mixing. Mix, mix, mix. My mother said I'm doing great. Once you've mixed all of those ingredients, you're going to want to pour your baking soda in and your flour. Just like you did with the sugar, start pouring a little bit of flour into the bowl and start mixing. And what do we do, Mom? Mix, mix, mix. Once you've poured all of the flour in, you're going to want to mix for two to three minutes. Mix, mix, mix. Once you have mixed for two to three minutes, you are going to pour your mixture into your pan. And for your pan, you can either use cooking spray or foil, and I'm using foil. Pour, pour, pour. Preheat your oven for 325 degrees. Once heated, place your pan in the oven for one hour and 20 minutes. Once you take your pan out of the oven, let it sit and cool off for a few minutes before you touch it so you don't burn yourself. And this is the final product, Grizzlies. Signing off from GTV, I'm Holly Woods, now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Holly, that banana bread looked really good. Next up, we have Ariana doing a GTV challenge with her brother. Let's see who wins. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Ariana Jackson, and today we'll be doing a What's In My Mouth challenge. Let's get right into it. Okay, for this challenge, we're each picking two items, and whoever gets the most correct wins. Let's go, let's go. Bad. They have been close. I'm scared, Devin. I need a trash can. Devin, if you're gonna poison me, <laughs> hold on, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I feel the spoon. Just gotta just feel the spoon. Like the end of the spoon. <laughs> I'm so scared. Well, it's not bad. It's actually not bad. Do you promise me? Yes, it's not bad. <laughs> I don't you're out of your mouth, you better open up. Open your mouth! <laughs> Is this oatmeal? Why'd you give me oatmeal? Because it's a challenge! Okay guys, so I'm giving him this. This. Just like ketchup, water. Italian you looked at it. I promise you. Is it Italian? <laughs> Is it Italian? You're such a cheater. Okay, okay, guys. I'm back with my second idol. It's this. <laughs> it's something bad. It smells nice. I need a bowl. No, you. You got it. Devin? 
Is this the pink stuff? And this stuff is expired. <laughs> it's expired two weeks, like um, two months ago. Yeah, it's more like a year. But guess what? Devin! Wait! Can I add water with it? Can you like bring me some water? Yeah. Can we do this orange juice that's here? I want water. Just be honest, should I, am I gonna use my bowl for this one? Anna, or do I like it? Huh? Am I gonna use my bowl for this one? It's spaghetti. Smell it. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not eating a cream cheese. You're not eating cream cheese. It smells like some type of cream, and I don't like any cream. It smells like Can you stop looking? I'm, I'm, I promise I haven't looked yet. Okay, I'm just smart. I'm, I'm giving him fits. Okay. Mm, there they go. Cool and crisp. Well, I got three. She got two because she, she got the butt. Well, that was fun. No, it wasn't. Let's go to Apple. That's it for now, Grizzlies. Signing from DTV, I'm Rihanna Jackson. And I'm Devin Jackson. Back, back, back to, to the, the studio. studio. <laughs> you already know my boy Devin won the challenge. Next up, we got Trin talking about Cinco de Mayo. Let's go. Hey, Grizzlies. My name's Trin Brandis, and we'll be learning more about Cinco de Mayo Day. Let's check it out. Cinco de Mayo is on May 5th every year. This holiday is celebrated in honor of the military victory in 1862 over French forces Napoleon III. Cinco de Mayo was first celebrated in the United States in Southern California. It is celebrated by Mexican Americans with festive dresses, parades, tacos, guacamole, and other foods and drinks. Hope you have a great Cinco de Mayo day, Grizzlies. Now signing out for GTV. My name is Shannon Brandis. Now back to you in the studio. That's all for this episode of GTV. I'm Ash Caden, and remember, Grizzlies, greatness happens here.